Oh, it's me and my cat. Welcome to the video. Before we get started, I don't know if you noticed, maybe something different about the video. Hopefully the quality because I got a camera, like a real camera. This is the first actual point and shoot, I guess. It's the Canon vlogging camera that apparently everyone has. I didn't know that. When I went down to Best Buy during Black Friday weekend, I was just looking for the best deal and this guy came in this really awesome bundle and I was like, okay, here we go. I liked the way the view thingy flipped and it was touchscreen and um, come to realize this is the camera every vlogger has. So anyways, the main thing is I just really wanted to get off my phone. I wanted to just step it up because I feel like we can and I'm ready for it and the stars aligned and everything. So yeah, I'm still getting used to it. Sorry if like maybe I go out of focus or the lighting's weird. I'm just trying to get used to it. But anyways, so into the video. It's really weird doing two unboxings in a row. Like, I don't know. It's just at the at this point in the stage of the poetry book, it's just how it has to be done. So I have another package here from when you saw me last and in it is hopefully the final proof copy of my poetry book, Notes from a Wicked Child. I wanted to say the scum at the end of the road for a second. Don't know why, but it's not that. So just going to get into it. Um, oh, Bubble wrap. Okay. Am I doing it right? Okay. Let's see if I can finally get the spine. Oh, okay. We're just gonna open it from this way and hope for the best. As you will see in a few short moments, I only made minor tweaks to the cover and we will get into that because this video is gonna be not only me unboxing my hopefully final proof, but I'm also gonna go into all of the details and give my full sort of review and the specs as I do for like my other finished proofs. So this video is gonna be not so much my reaction, but going into more um, in depth about like the whole process and what I think of like the book and stuff like that. We'll get them one of these days. All right. Oh yeah. Here it is. So as you can see, I hope, I don't know. Is this thing focusing? I really can't tell. I think so but we'll get into it in a minute if it's not. Um, I changed the font because I wasn't sold on the um, type writer font that I did and we will get into this font in a second. Um, that is the spine. Oh my gosh, look at that focus. Wow. And then the back. So the back is a little different too. The other back like definitely was not what I was going for, but this one is definitely closer to the mark. It's not centered, which I didn't realize. I don't know if I hate it, but it's definitely my bad. So that might be a tweak. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, and then, yeah, for the inside, let's see. Yeah, not much changed on the inside. More so some like structural stuff. All right, so far so good. I, okay, we are definitely getting there. Again, I'll have to do another read through and see how everything is, but I think this is, this is it. All right, I am going to flip you around and make sure you get a better angle and we're gonna go in depth um, with my first book of poetry. Hello, it's me, Winter from the Future. So, due to some technical difficulties, I had to refilm this part, hence why my nails are a different color. Um, does not explain why I'm wearing the same shirt though, but that's okay. We're just gonna jump right into it and um, do my full review. So, to take an extra little look at the outside, I'm gonna zoom you in just to get a clear shot. To talk about this font really quickly. I actually ended up just creating this. I scoured and scoured and scoured the internet trying to find the perfect font for my vision 
as you could say, and I couldn't find anything. So I ended up just using one of those little um, websites that convert your handwriting to a font and stuff. I specifically used the website calligrapher.com, which is really cool. Basically, you just download a template and fill it in, and you can either take a picture of it if you wrote it out, or I just did it in Photoshop and just uploaded it right back up in it converted all of my characters to like a TTF or you can choose like an OTF file um, and it was really cool so yeah that's what I ended up doing so to get into the specifics the trim size I used was a 5.06 by 7.81 which is the exact same trim size I used for my novella the scum at the end of the road side by side these are what these guys look like obviously notes from a wicked child um Page wise was a lot longer. This one ended up being 208 pages, including the front and the back matter. Let's see. So, compared to the scum at the end of the road, boop, boop, boop. I did use white pages versus the cream that I have used in the past. So, we'll get into um, a closer look at how they like differ up close in just a second. I went with the matte cover and I did not provide my own ISBN. So this funky looking barcode will be replaced with the real one once I go ahead and approve um, the final proof, um, which I don't think this will be. There is a couple more tweaks I think I want to do, um, including this. I don't know why, how I got this so off, but it is like really noticeable that this is not centered. I don't know what I was doing. But anyways, so that's that. Real quick, I also wanted to compare my new proof to my original proof. So if we bring in this bad boy here, and here you can really see the differences. So this is my original proof, and then this is my newer one. Um, this one, the colors I washed out a little bit more. I really wanted to lighten it up just because from experience I know that when you're working with something digitally and you're getting it getting it printed um, especially if you're going with like a matte finish um, the colors sort of I guess deepen or dull out a little bit so I wanted this to be as vibrant as I could make it so for the original I really went like more I washed it out just a little bit more However, when I went back and tweaked the newer version, I kept the colors a little bit more deep and I really, really like how that turned out. And yeah, I definitely, I beefed up the font. I think I might play around with this just a little bit more. I just wanna kind of feel it out and see, but I like the handwritten-ness of it uh, versus like the type. This just didn't really go with what I was trying to do. So really happy with this font overall, but I think there's a couple more tweaks that I could definitely make. And then finally, real quick, before we get into the inside, I just wanted to compare this to my novel, or my first novel, I guess, Thick as Blood. So Thick as Blood was a 5.25 by 8. So this guy is just slightly smaller. I don't even know if you can tell. Like it's very, very unnoticeable, um, except for the thicknesses, obviously. Overall, I am really, really happy with the exterior. Let's go ahead and jump inside. So for the interior, I did use white pages, which is the first time I've ever used white pages. And I really was adamant about that. Um, white pages, I have noticed compared to the cream, do have a little bit more ghosting. That's when you can see the um, like the words and the lettering from the opposite side of the page. But I mean, it's white paper, that's to be expected. Um, it is more of like a rough, not rough texture, but it's definitely more textured than like smooth paper. Um, I'm not mad about it. I mean, it's white paper. I knew what I was doing when I was getting into it, but yeah, just for anybody out there who that would that might be like annoying or, or what have you. Um, the overall word count ended up being 6,844, which it's a poetry book, you know, it's <laughs> not like it was gonna be a 50,000 word novel or anything. But yeah, just going in. And then my sketches, I'm so happy with them. Um, definitely had to go and tweak out the spacing and the size compared to my first 
um, proof. And the main reason I had to do that, let me just jump in here really quick. So I didn't notice this when I first unboxed it. I was looking at it and then I asked my family members, be like, hey, what do you guys think? And they were like, why is the font so small? And I'm like, what do you mean? So for the original, I used a 9.5 and a 9 .5 point font. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Um, so then I beefed it up to a 10.5 in the newer version and I'm like, okay, thank goodness I did that. So if we just zoom in real quick, I don't know what I was thinking. As you can see, this font is smaller than this one and it, yeah, it just wasn't working. So I went through and increased the font size and in doing so I had to tweak almost all of the sketches and the page numbering sort of got out of whack. I ended up adding 10 extra pages into the newer proof just by beefing up the font. So the original is 10 pages less than this guy here. But <laughs> I was like, well, I have to. I mean, it's not, yeah, like you can see. I don't, I don't, I don't know, okay? I just don't know, so. <laughs> So yeah, used a 10.5 point font and I really went with wide margins and a big gutter just because I wanted this to be spaced out and I did not want it to feel too cramped. You know, I wanted the reader to be able to take their time and reading it and really just sort of absorb everything. Now that I talked about that, I wanted to compare the pages cream versus white oh, this thing is so big i'm just gonna grab okay i'll just use the scum at the end of the road for reference because gosh i forgot how like big novels are all right so if we just open up this guy oh i created little bookmarks too let's kind of go you can really see the difference um i mean the cream it just looks like super yellow compared to the stark white it's definitely i do like cream pages a lot more than white pages i will give it that but this book i just was not feeling the cream pages for versus like a novel so like if we just open this guy up yeah i mean look at that that's gorgeous okay like i love cream pages but this guy the poetry book really needed white pages but you can see the stark difference between KDP's white and cream. Some people do think this is too yellow. I am not one of those people. I really like a, a good <laughs> yellow paper. And then let's say we compare these white pages to like printer paper. So like here's like a standard piece of printer paper. It's like the same thing. So here we have the cream, KDP's white, and then printer paper. Um, I will say compared to regular printer paper, it, it does have a little bit more texture than regular printer paper, um, which I was kind of expecting this to be like smooth like printer paper, but it's definitely a little more thick and not as, I would say, not as thick as the cream, but definitely thicker thicker than like a standard printer paper. So yeah, overall, I am so, so, so happy with... <clears throat> How this proof came out i don't know if i'm forgetting anything if i am you can go ahead and ask me down below and i'll try and answer um as best as i can again i'm not an expert on this stuff um just been going through it this is my third time around um printing my own book through kdp slash create space when it was create space and things basically work the same they use the same printers and basically the same instructions when uploading and all that stuff so yeah i am going to hand you back over to past winter to finish up this video and um yeah i okay bye <laughs> that's pretty much it overall i'm really happy with it if anything just a couple more tweaks and this bad boy will be ready to go for the year 2020 don't have a release date yet um this end of the year is really insane for me so just be patient <laughs> i've also decided not to post a another creating my cover video since these guys came out to be so so similar i was like really i just kind of made some tweaks i had to download a whole new template because this guy was 10 pages longer than the original so that was fine and yeah basically all the steps i took were pretty much the same except for the fact that i did add my own font 
and I kind of blew up this little square in the back here. And like I've mentioned before, this is going to be a print only um, book. I'm not going to be making an ebook for it just because I really feel strongly about this thing being read in the physical form because to me that's just like classic poetry. That's just how poetry should be consumed. And if you guys have any other questions, go ahead and let me know. Um, I am not an expert when it comes to formatting. I mean, honestly, it took me hours to work out the kinks of this. Like page numbering is god awful. Um, I do use Microsoft Word and you know, I still, I always have problems with like formatting to PDFs. I don't know, but um, the KDP website is so, so helpful. I will link that down below because whenever I have a question or a problem, I go right there and I can usually find the answer almost right away. It's just a matter of me trying to implement the answers. <laughs> I will be keeping you guys updated between now and obviously January when I plan to release this bad boy. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone really has like a happy holidays if I don't see you between now and then. Real quick, I just wanted to mention my next project coming up. Some people have asked, well, <laughs> pretty much everyone I know who has read Thick as Blood has asked, so when's the next one coming out? And I'm very happy to say that I will be starting work back, I will be starting back working on, I will be starting, I will be continuing the first draft of the second book in the Thick as Blood series, which is why I had this guy out and ready. I've been reading through, making notes, and getting ready to jump back in into the second book. So I wholeheartedly plan to make that my next project for the year 2020. Um, my ultimate goal is to get it out by the end of next year. It has a lot of work. It's been like two years since I have gone to that series, but I'm really excited and I'm really ready for it. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are too. Sorry that I took a break with two other books while <laughs> I was like trying to get my head in the right um, space to get back to that series, but I needed the break. I was so burnt out um, from the first one. Like I didn't realize how much time and energy went into creating an actual full length novel until I took a break with a novella and a poetry book. Like it's just thinking about it now, knowing that I have to go back to creating something like this big and this intricate is like kind of daunting um, since I have other things to compare it to. But I am ready for that challenge and 2020 is gonna be a crazy year for me. Um, I'm going back to school, basically quitting my full-time job. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to like a proper university and full-time student. Like, I don't know. It's going to be wild. And um, I hope you guys are okay with like maybe more vloggy school type videos. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what this channel is going to be, but I know that I like sort of keeping you know, you guys in the loop with like my life as far as like, you know, day to day stuff. Like I like my little vlog days where I do some writing and then some other stuff. And um, I hope to branch out a little bit more with that. I don't know. I know a lot of you guys are here for the book stuff and I'm so happy that I can help like motivate you and I don't know, give you inspiration and stuff because I like seeing those kind of videos. But at the same time, I do love vlog channels and just seeing into the lives of other people. So I hope you know, we can combine those two and create an awesome video platform for the year 2020. <laughs> but yeah, if I don't see you guys between now and the end of the year, I actually plan to, but if I don't, um, I wish everyone a happy holidays and a great um, rest of December. And again, thank you for being here. So I will leave you today and I will see you very, very soon, hopefully.